today we're gonna do an oil change and a carbon cleaner and a fuel system cleaner. ATS uh, is the name of the product. And we're gonna test it, see how it works. It's the ATS Chemical 505 CRF and CRO Fuel System Treatment, Oil System Treatment Additives. Um, I just wanted to get a chance to try them because I watched the Scotty Kilmer video <laughs> and uh, he looked like he got some good results. <clears throat> this is a 2011 Pro S. Um, had it for like 12 years, something like that. And it's got, I don't know, like 211 something thousand, I don't know, 200 something thousand miles. So, so I'm gonna pour the carbon cleaner directly into the engine oil and uh, run it <clears throat> at about 2000 RPMs for 15 minutes. And um, then do an oil change. I'll do a, a sound comparison um, of the engine before and after. And we'll see if it works good. I think I need the keys though. <laughs> ATS oil system treatment designed to be added directly to the motor oil. Remove fill cap for contents of engine oil without engine. Okay. Okay. chemical and now we'll 
run it for like 15 minutes. That's the way it sounds when we're starting out. So let it run for like 15 minutes. Come back, see how it's doing. And I'm just gonna set something to <clears throat> yeah, like 2,000 RPMs. Alright, so it's like six minutes left, and I know you can adjust the throttle for the rev limiter under the hood, but I just, whatever. I just put a bottle jack in there by the, uh, <laughs> by the gas pedal. Whatever. It works. I think it's, um, kind of becoming freer too because I like seems to be uh, going up a little bit all right so now It's a bit about time, so I'm gonna do the actual oil change and change out the filters. So let's jack it up.
And now I got my trusty, here's my transmission one. And then I got engine. Perfect size, 14 millimeter, just in case so. Uh, American. Fun part. But it's hot oil. Got to pull that little thing. trail and it's starting to get dark. Alright, so I'm just gonna let that I don't know, drain for 20 minutes or so. And then I'll be back. I'll let it do its thing and drip, drip, drip. Stay tuned. And whilst I'm waiting for that this here's the filter um cabin air filter intake and the little paper oil filter so i'm just going to change those out for now first uh, wait i'll start the intake clip here this clip behind here to take out here. And you want to put it the same way. And it's not even that dirty. But got this it's the way it came out exactly like that and there's one sharp corner and the rest are rounded just make sure that you take it out like exactly and put it in exactly just the way you took it out so boom
just like that. So there's this little damper on the side and you just first you want to take the contents, you know, there's this little side here, pin, pop that out, Let's see, pop this out. The dampener. Um, or you could just do that. You could just pop it out of the side right there. So it basically just holds that. Anyway, and then here's the the door for it. And the same thing, pull out the same orientation. It goes in there like that. Oh. Whoa. This is different. It's a carbon filter or something. Okay. This is a different one. It's not it's not the same. I don't know. It's not the same, but I don't know. I've never seen that. It looks like a kind of a heavier duty filter, anyway. Well, so, all right, put that in there. Toyota filters are weird. I like Honda better. They just have a better configuration with how it slides in. It doesn't feel wonky or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Toyota's okay. I guess. Where's your cover at? Goes up in there. Like that. Up. And then you just put this thing there. All right. So that's good. Get your little dampener back up in here. Lift it up. And it, it slides into like a little slot. Like there's this little hole thing there presses onto that, see? And then lift that back up in there. There it is. There's your dampener. Dampener. Anyway. So still dripping a little bit. I'll probably just let it drain for a little more. But we got the new bolt. 
with the new crush ring. You want to put a new crush ring just in case it cracks and causes a leak if you use the old one. The old one was stuck onto it, but it's still pretty good, but I'm using the new one, which is already on there. But I'm gonna come back and when this is, I already changed the cabin air filter and the intake. And then I'll get to the um, oil filter. Next, I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna let this drain. Stay tuned. This just fell, so I'm gonna get all this dirt and stuff off. Whoopsie daisy. If you do not want to put the dirt, you don't want to put a dirty plug. Okay. Shit that right. Sha for now. I'm gonna take this bolt and put it back up in there. Guys are done driven. Switcheroo. This one it snug. I get it to where it's basically tight and then right there. That's good. find this little piece um, because I have to get the oil filter cap off and I need, it has an adapter that I, have, that I have on it and you need this to get it off and I'm gonna use the breaker crazy because you have to get it up in here there it is Here comes the oil. A little, little filter. But anyway, I leave this cap on. I don't know. That's probably dangerous, but it's never coming off. It's never come off. It's stuck on there. It like, yeah. So, all right. New filter. Let's get the new filter. All right, here's a new filter. Here's a new guy. Okay. Let's see. Take the 
old guy out. Put the new guy in. Put that new guy in. in there um yeah there's also a new like there's also the seal and sometimes this can break so they give you a new one i kind of just keep the old one if it's fine just make sure there's oil all over it um you know with the honda ones you don't have to they're just a better filter system because they're the disposable unscrew, screw on. So they have these filter uh, gasket already on them. So it always comes with a new one. So you just, you know, rub a little bit of oil around it to keep it lubricated so it doesn't dry out and crack. But this one's got plenty of oil and shit still on it. So anywho, just going to slip that. Right back up in there. Make sure you got it nice and the grooves are all correct. And it goes in, it screws on smooth and not janky. And there it is. And I just leave that on because it ain't coming back up. All right, now let's add the new oil. <laughs> um, I gotta check what, I think it's like 5.2 quart. Two, three. It's been a great car. I hope this is like nice because it's my mom's car now and you know, you gotta take care of your mom. Make sure she has a nice vehicle to drive as long as possible. what we do for our folks, right? That's what they do for us. Four. And we'll do We'll put point two and see where it's at. I'm gonna drop it down first. Tend 
I'm gonna turn it on and run it for a little bit, um, just so I can get the level back down to see, cause it's looking like it's uh, already out full on the dipstick, but I'm gonna run it so that the uh, the level goes back down, it's just to, to get a better reading. got like a better smell to it. I don't know if that's that stuff we used or what. That's about a comparison of before and after sound um you know compared to the sound that we heard before to this now and i don't know it seems like it freed it up more I think it's at a good level. It seems like I can hear it. There's definitely less just overall material in there. Something got loosened up. Something got cleaned. That's the way it sounds when we're starting out. This is our after. ATS. All right. I, I think it sounds better. I don't know. I'm gonna take it out for a spoon. <laughs> Tire pressure is low. 
so. Gotta do all four tires. All right, now I'm just uh, going down to the gas station to fill it up and pour this in the fuel tank to get the whole fuel system cleaning out. And um, I don't know, I guess I'll give you an update like later or something.